Hi, welcome to Educated.com. As we continue our introduction into Adobe Illustrator CS6, and today we're going to talk about objects. Objects are made of uh, strokes and fills and paths. So, and let's get right into it. Okay. Uh, the first thing we're going to deal with is a rectangle. Let me just choose a color to go with here. And choose my rectangle tool. So just I can just drag with the rectangle. And also I can hold down the shift key to make a square. And with most of the most of these tools, I can hold down the shift key to make any kind of proportional um, shape. Also, I can hold down the option key and draw right, pull right from the center, and it can go any shape I want. Now, if I want to pull from the center and have a uh, square, I hold down Shift plus Option, and now I can pull from the center to get a square. Okay, and a lot of these tools also, you double click. Uh, but this one doesn't have anything because it's just a rectangle. Okay, here, I double click. It's very odd because sometimes you double click on the tool panel, sometimes you double click here. So it's always hard to remember which is which. Okay, so in any case, we'll find out as we go along. All right, so uh, I can click a rectangle and then a rectangle appears here. So I can set the numbers there and everything. So we're going to do this a few times. So don't worry if you missed it. Okay, so that is uh, the rectangle. Okay, let's move on to the rounded rectangle. So the rounded rectangle works the same way, and I, I select it here. And then I just click and drag. Again, I can hold down the Shift key to make a square or equally proportioned uh, rec rounded rectangle. And Option key to pull from the center. And Shift Option to constrain it to the shape of a, of a of a rectangle, okay, of a square. Now, we've been drawing in, nor in normal mode, so now we want to do in in behind, draw behind mode. So let's try that with the ellipse, because I'm finished with the rounded rectangle. Oh, one more point uh, with the rounded rectangle. Not quite finished yet, so double click here, and again, you can see the points. So I got change the radius here uh, with the rounded rectangle and put any other numerical value I want. But also, while I'm dragging, and we're in um, draw behind mode now, I can use the arrow key to change. Let's we'll go up or down to change it to to change it to a square. So up, down. So there's where I have full control of the circumference of the of the corners. Okay. And now here you see it's drawn behind. Now watch as I pull here. It doesn't draw behind because these were in draw in normal mode. So now when I draw behind and with these, it goes behind it. So let's do that a little bit more. So that's the rounded rectangle. Now let's move on to ellipse. 